I said this with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to look at NVIDIA GeForce Experience. This program is designed to keep your drivers up to date, tweak your games, as well as promote some of their products, the NVIDIA Shield, which is their little console. You can go into my rig and go through stuff like check to see if you're ready for virtual reality. I just barely squeaked on by, etc. Same with game stream, game optimization, overview, mostly information, uh, virtual reality stuff as we mentioned, kind of cool. Uh, the Shield, which of course is really looking to either connect to your Shield device or maybe sell you the Shield device. Your preferences, for the most part, it's going to tell you your release highlights. You can do a quick check for updates. It doesn't take long. It runs pretty good. You can automatically download your drivers, which is handy if you like that sort of thing. Or just be notified. You can also go into the beta. Now, in my opinion, personal experience, NVIDIA has some of the most solid beta software out there as far as drivers go, but if you've got a game with an issue that's specific to your video card, sometimes you'll want to get around that by jumping to the beta driver while they're working on fixing any kind of problems. I've had no problems. Your mileage might vary. Games, as we mentioned, will allow you to scan for games, see what games are out there, and then attempt to personally optimize the game with the graphic settings off the cloud. So we'll see how long this puppy takes. It's been a little bit since I've used it, so I'm usually pretty good with mine. Six games found. I think I had six games on there. Oh yeah. So it's going into my World of Warcraft, my Just Cause, and you can automatically just launch right from here. And you can take a look at your current and optimal settings that you're using. I haven't played Just Cause 2 in a while. I know I had Just Cause 3 kicked up. Yeah, you can see I kicked everything up there already. So kind of neat because I know for a fact just the other day I changed these levels here. And as you can see, it picked them right up. So you got to admit, that's kind of cool. So then let's see here. Click Optimize. And on, on, Edge Fade. We'll hit this. Pick your resolution. Optimize for performance. I go for quality. I've got a pretty high-end machine. So there you go. It's pretty simple. Just a couple buttons to go through to, to check it out. And that's really the majority of the program in a nutshell. It does run in your tray. I can't find any way short of going into the startup to remove it from starting with Windows. Um, as you can see, I can't find anything in here that will allow you to disable it. But it doesn't seem to use a lot of memory. It's very quick. It works well. And again, if you carry a bunch of games, you just want to tweak them a little bit without getting into the hassles. It's kind of tough to be beat. So the download link, as always, is in the description. Take a second, subscribe. That would be pretty cool. And we thank you, as always, for watching, and we'll see you next time.